Welcome back. It is now 610 in the morning. Now there's lots of excitement across the county as we wait to see the solar eclipse. CBS News uh, space consultant Bill Hardwood. He joins us from Carbondale, Illinois, where there are just a few miles south of the eclipse uh, will reach and it's a point of great uh, interest uh, during the duration. Uh, good morning, Bill. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. Now, people here in Nebraska, so uh, what we're looking at, we're wondering, we have a few questions for you actually, Bill, this morning. And uh, one of those questions are, uh, for those in the path of totality, uh, like some parts of Nebraska, when is it safe uh, to take off those solar eclipse glasses? Well, you really need to wait until it is total. Once you're in totality, you can look at it with the unaided eye. There's no danger in that. But while the sun is still shining, even when it's nearly total, you want to be very, very careful. You don't want to take those glasses off. You want to protect your eyes because you can damage not only your eyes, but cameras. You know, in this age of smartphones, everybody's going to want to snap a picture, but the bright sunshine can hurt the insides of your camera, the, the sensors, the chips. You don't want to do that. But when it's in total eclipse, you're safe to take pictures. You're safe to look at it for however long uh, you've got. Sounds good. Now, people here in Nebraska, they're, they're getting prepared. Uh, so what are you seeing where you are? Well, the sun has just come up. It looks like a pretty day so far, but the weatherman's predicting some cloud cover. So it's going to be a little bit dicey for us here to see if we get to enjoy that moment of totality. Of course, you're going to have an awfully good eclipse in Omaha, Nebraska. If you can see this out, that tiny sliver of sunlight is how much of the, of the sun's going to be covered up by the moon where you are. And it's going to be a pretty good view, but again, I want to warn you, wear your eclipse glasses to really enjoy this safely. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of people out there checking out the eclipse today. Uh, but what about catch, capturing the eclipse on a camera? What are the do's and don'ts? Well, the main, the main don't is don't use a camera without a filter on it. Uh, you know, they use different types of filters to protect your eyes and cameras, but the bottom line is you don't want to look through a camera viewfinder or any kind of optical aid unless the eclipse is total. If you do, you can damage the camera or your eyes or both. So that's something you don't want to do without doing a little bit of research, making sure you got the right filter and being very, very careful looking through any kind of optical aid at the sun. You know, that's true on a regular day too. The eclipse is no different. The sun will do that to you when you just walk out and try to take a picture. You want to be very careful when you're pointing optical instruments at the sun. Yeah, pretty good information there. Now, how long will the eclipse last? Well, here in Carbondale, it's going to be about 2 minutes and 41 or 2 seconds. You know, it really changes as the eclipse progresses because when the shadow of the moon crosses the coast of Oregon, for example, the duration is only about 2 minutes long. When it gets here to Carbondale, it's up to 2 minutes and 42 seconds or so, and then it'll start decreasing as the shadow moves toward the southeast. That's just due to the changing alignment of the moon and its orbit around the Earth and the sun, of course, uh, the relative positions of those three bodies. So. We're hoping we get a view here because we'll, we'll get a chance to see it for as long as anybody in the country. Sounds good, Mr. Harwood. Thank you so much for talking to us and uh, have a great day. You too. Thanks a lot.